I have been doing video editing and motion graphics for almost a decade now. And I had always faced this problem whenever I wanted to record any audio playing in my browser to be used in my videos. What's up friends, this is me Suket. Welcome back to my channel for yet another video in 3 minutes Tuesday series. In this video, we'll talk about how to record any audio playing in a browser or any other applications onto your Mac. Recording the internal audio playing through your web browser or any other applications on your Mac using the built-in apps or features is not possible. You have to use third-party applications to do that. These are known as audio routers. While there are many available on the web, both free and paid, like Soundflower, Loopback, Black Hole, and Ground Control, etc. We'll be talking about Soundflower in this video, since this is the application that I use and trust. And also, this is the most simplest of all the applications. It just does what it is supposed to do without any complex settings or buttons to push around. You just switch it on and it gets the job done. You can download Soundflower from this GitHub repository. I'll put the link in the description below. To install it, just follow the instructions and once installed, restart your Mac. Then all you have to do is switch the input to Soundflower 2 channel and each time you want to record your audio, all you have to do is from the speaker icon in the menu bar, you just select Soundflower 2 channel, open your favorite app to record your audio. I use QuickTime as it's a built-in app and works perfectly well. Play the audio from the browser. The audio, as you can see, is being recorded in QuickTime. How this works is that basically Soundflower acts as a virtual auxiliary cable and diverts the audio through the Soundflower app to your recording app instead of your speakers. So while you are recording the app, your speakers won't play the audio. After the recording is done, and if you want to listen to the audio you recorded, change the output from Soundflower to channels to your default source once again from the speaker Just icon. a small note at this point, if you are using any other applications other than QuickTime to record your audio, say like Audacity or some other sound editing software, just make sure that you select Soundflower 2 channel as your input device in your software's preferences. This is a very small trick, but sometimes when you need it, it gets really frustrating and annoying when you can't record any audio that is playing to your browser. So that was it for this video. If you found the video interesting, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about my new videos as soon as I upload them. See you all in the next video. This is me Suket signing off.